we are privileged in welcoming Clayton Kershaw to the program right now from the NTT Ballpark Cam at Wrigley Field. Kirsch, thanks for doing this. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on career win number 200. After the game, you said you were glad it was a team win. That's what makes it so special. How much value do you put on the win for the pitcher? Uh, hey, Alana, good to see you. You know, I think, uh, you know, the pitcher win maybe as far as like judging a guy's season is probably not great, you know, just because there's so many other factors. But at the end of the day, this is this is what we play the game for is to win the game. And so that's what I kind of meant by it is that I've been on a lot of great teams with the Dodgers and uh, we've won a lot of games and I've gotten to be a part of that. So I think that's what a win signifies for a pitcher is just being a part of a team and um doing everything right as a team to win a baseball game and it's not easy to do to win a big league game so to be a part of that many with this group is uh, is a special for me and you did it in such kershaw like fashion and what i mean by that clayton is you do it with the punch out nine punch outs you don't give up a walk you know you, you do it in a way that it, you've done it your entire career with domination does that mean more to you <laughs> uh, my son, uh, my oldest son was there, Charlie. He told me I roared like a lion at the end. So um, <laughs> it was pretty funny to hear him talk about that. But um, no, you know, I, an out's an out as far as I'm concerned. Sometimes the situation dictates a strikeout. But, um, you know, obviously not walking guys is something that is really important to me. Uh, not having guys on base is, is huge in this game, not giving up free passes. So uh, the walks is something that I take a lot of pride in, not doing that a whole lot. And um, if strikeouts happen, that's great. I love that Charlie said that because I did love the emotion. Where did that stem from? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, obviously I, I had like a 13 at 13 pitch at bat with uh, with Canna right uh, at the beginning of that inning. And so I think I was just exhausted, ready to get out of there and uh, <laughs> thankful to get that last punch out there and uh, get done with the day. All right, let's talk about this 2023 Dodgers team. First of all, how does uh, Mookie look at short? I mean, he played made a pretty sick play last night. Um, you know, Mookie, it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, Mookie rolls off a plane yesterday after just having his second baby, and um, he's probably pretty sleep-deprived and says, you know, hey, I'll go out there and play short, pinch it in the late innings. And um, that's a pretty big testament to who he is for this team. And uh, we needed that right now. We're, uh, you know, we got some guys banged up at short. So if Mookie's able to do that for us, that's huge. Obviously, he's a gold glove right fielder. Probably could be a gold glove shortstop too. So um, <laughs> just an incredible athlete. Yeah, he is back out in the outfield today for this game. Is he the most athletic guy, Kirsch, on that field? You mentioned he could roll out of bed and play short. He bowls 300. I mean, is he the most athletic guy you've yeah. seen? I think, like, coordination-wise, 100%. You know, everybody defines an athlete differently, but if you ask him to play a sport, basketball, golf, bowling, ping pong, football, you know, <laughs> basketball, any of that stuff, he, he probably wins on our team. So as far as all that goes, uh, 100%. How impressed have you been with James Outman? I remember watching the Dodgers during the Cactus League play, and I was like, there is no way that this kid does not make the opening day roster. A big go-ahead home run, obviously the go-ahead grand slam, saved a run defensively. What have you impressed? What has impressed you the most about him? I, I love Audi. Audi's great, man. He's been a great, uh, great part of this team to start, obviously. And uh, I just his personality's. Uh, it's just really, really good for this ball club. You know, I think he um, he has the confidence to do what he thinks and be stubborn with what he thinks he does well. But he's also always willing to learn and try to get better. So he's got that uh, good balance as a young guy. And then, um, you know, he <laughs> he told me something the other day. It was kind of funny. He, th he said, I, I thought you were kind of a mean guy. And then I got to know you and just really a sweetheart. He called me a sweetheart. I haven't been called a sweetheart by a man in a long time. So uh, I thought that was a little interesting by Audi. So he's got a good personality. Yeah, as long as he doesn't talk to you on your start day. Um, okay, let me ask you about the uh, the middle of the infield. You had mentioned you guys are a bit thin. How much are you missing Gavin Lux and obviously Miggy now on the IL? And more importantly, perhaps, is uh, the, the void that Justin Turner left. Yeah, we obviously miss all our guys, uh, JT and Belly especially, that are not here right now. Um, you know, it's weird seeing Belly in a Cubs uniform. Uh, miss him and obviously seeing JT play in Boston is a very strange feeling as well so we miss those guys those guys were big presences in our clubhouse and um, obviously both those guys meant a whole lot to our team um, and then we miss Luxie too I mean Luxie that was a big blow for us at shortstop we were really counting on him to take that up and uh, you know Miggy will be back soon at short for us and he's been great um, and then Vargi's playing great at second base you know it's a lot uh, first year first full season um, figuring out second base and then trying to hit on top of all that so he, he looked really good last night 
got a couple big knocks for us. So, um, yeah, it's probably not what we anticipated at the beginning of the season, but um, I think we're doing all right. And um, with CT, CT has looked, has looked really good at short as well. So we got a lot of guys that can step up for us. Yeah, thank God for Chris Taylor, of course. Very versatile all over the field. Okay, before I let you go, let's talk about the Kershaw's Challenge uh, ping pong tournament. I know it's coming up. You and Ellen do such a great job with this. Tell us how we can help and how we can get involved. Oh, yeah, just thanks for bringing it up. It's in July this year, July 27th at Dodger Stadium, and uh, it's a great time. You know, we obviously have a ton of fun, get a lot of celebrities out there. My teammates are kind enough to show up on an off day and uh, play some ping pong, and uh, we raise a lot of money for Kershaw's Challenge, and uh, we have a ton of bit different beneficiaries this year. We have 10 different ones, and uh, it's all over the country, L.A., Dallas, and all over the world, and Africa and the Dominican Republic. So it's, uh, it's a lot of cool things that we get to do, and uh, we're excited about ping pong this year. All right, ping pong for a purpose. Clayton Kershaw, congratulations on career win 200. Incredibly well earned. Thanks for taking the time. All right, thanks, Alana. Good to talk to you.